want to remind you about the Fishing with Feral sweepstakes presented by Dick Sporting Goods at sunsportstv.com. One lucky winner meets Dave for a $1,500 shopping spree at Dick Sporting Goods and then fishes with him and one of our regional guides. Enter free at the sunsportstv.com website, the Fishing with Feral sweepstakes presented by Dick's Sporting that Goods. Be so much fun. It's, let me get this I straight. Go, I would go just for it's gonna be the fun of it. Let me get this straight. So you're going to go anywhere in the state, wherever this winner is from, you're going to go meet that person at their closest Dick's Sporting Goods. Yep. And, and then we're going to go on a spree on to a cover spree. the Southwest proper. I love the word spree. We're going to go on a shopping spree, <laughs> wow. and we're going to go out with one of the guides, right? You and the winner and a guide goes out and goes fishing. Well, Correct. first of all, you get a free fishing trip out of this deal. That's the first thing I understand. That's that's pretty tough for me. And, and you somebody to, else gets to buy $1,500 $1, worth, worth of stuff at Dick's, and that's what I understand. Free! You want to see that one more time? One more time. <laughs> the Fishing with Feral Sweepstakes. Uh, you can log on to sunsportstv.com and get a chance to win a $1,500 shopping spree at Dick's Sporting Goods. You get to fish with Farrell and one of our regional guides, all at sunsportstv.com. Tell you what, I'll tell you what, I never know where I'm going to be from month to month. Busy man. If it's somewhere that I can get to and I'm not doing a magic game or something like that, I will come and watch this shopping spree. I'll, I would I'll love to be there. That would be a lot Ricky of fun. and I will come watch the shopping spree with you. Well, cool. All right, all right now, tell us what, what you are got. you holding? Well, this is from Indian River Wood. A uh, fella named uh, Captain Joe Roberts makes these over here in Merritt Island area, somewhere over there. He, he came over the other day and brought these with him. And uh, these are he makes all different kinds. The, these are for a wall hanging, obviously. He, put, he puts nice little cork uh, pads on the back so it stands away from the wall and gives it a nice shadow effect. But mm -hmm. that dolphin over there is fantastic. This is a redfish. We've that. got a, we've got the snook over there the too. The snook is underneath the dolphin. He makes he makes there. trigger fish, nice? uh, pompano. Big. Yeah, he makes big. all big. You know, big ones, little ones, whatever Full size you make. Just really good stuff. Indian River Wood. If you go to Indian River Guides, IndianRiverGuides.com, they have a little thing about it. Captain right. Joe Roberts. My turn. All right. With, <laughs> look art. at this stuff, man. Turn. This is my turn. Yeah, put, Ceramic put my fish dolphin art. Back. Pardon me. And I got to tell you, Sue Weber is the bomb because she's now designed a bunch of ceramic art for the ladies. One of the things that I thought was so cool was the spoon rest that was this little Nassau grouper. Oh, that's pretty cool. Because you know how you're always looking for a place to put your spoon after you've stirred your gravy or you've made your coffee in the morning? Then the other thing that I really think is really cool is that they, she's turned the tail up on this grouper, can simply hang this in the wall, and now it becomes a towel holder. Yeah, I like that. So, isn't that really cool? I mean, that is what's neat. And then she has a variety of different types of fish that you can use for platters, and I love platters. So what is, it's neat is that the man can go and buy this for his wife, and but still have his fishy stuff while he's entertaining. You know, this trigger fish platter, or we have the bowls here that are trigger fish, and there's a, a, a bunch of different stuff. I mean, as you can see, my triscuits Yummy are in triscuits. there. Mm, yeah, yummy triscuits. Yeah. But the key is that you have actually have bowls of different type, and, okay. and it's really, really neat. And you just got to go on her website. She has so much stuff, it well, just you makes see, it crazy. Like I'm the weatherman. There you see right here, right there is the uh, web address, ceramicfishart.com, and there's the phone number. And again, we have the Indian River Guides for the wood art feral. Is that correct? Yes, it. IndianRiverGuides.com Indian for the wood Captain art. Joe Roberts. Now, what else we got? Well, I got some. This stuff is from Binnacle C Custom Tackle. Uh, I was up there just recently fishing with these uh, Rick Grapes, a captain up there, and uh, I was fished with him in the White Marlin Open. And he has his own little tackle business. Binnacle Custom Tackle. He makes all kinds of cool stuff. Those are some uh, lead-headed lures they use for when they're trolling up there for big bluefin tunas. They would probably work, you know, for just about anything. I know that a blue marlin would eat one of those things. Any bullet-headed lure, a blue marlin will eat just as good as anything and else. And you were using this in the white marlin open? You, uh, you know, them? I wasn't using these, actually, oh, but he okay. makes them. He's, I was, I I was fishing you. on I his boat. I I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I wouldn't use one something that big for the whitey. It'd, it'd be a tough hookup. You might be able to get one, but it'd be well, a... Well, that's why I was asking, because gotcha. my dumb... In, inshore guy, you know, I'm trying to teach me, Daryl. You got to just teach me. Let me show you this logo I'm right right out. quick here. It's uh, Can you get a shot of that? He, he Binnacle makes, Custom Tackle. Yeah, he, makes, he makes lures. You know, these are nice uh, hand-spun lure heads. He also makes the lead heads. He also, you know, because he's up there in, in the northeast, he makes really nice squid bars. I left the dang stainless steel bar at home. I was going to hook all these up. But you get on that, he, he makes nice. a nice stainless steel bar, and you hook these on up to make a nice squid chain. One of these has a hook in it, and you, and you lay the other ones out. 
perfect for tuna fishing, which is what they do a lot up there. BinnacleTackle.com. Binnacle is spelled B-I-N-N-A-C-L-E, tackle.com. The last thing we have here is a Jerry Rig live bait clip, and uh, Rick's going to show you how this thing works. These are these are pre, <laughs> pre-made little clips to, to that, use for live right baits. All right. Holding. Now, now, one of the things that's so cool about this is I got them right here, Farrell. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Go ahead. Um, th you can hook them either on the nose or you can hook them in the back. In this particular one, you have this little tiny pin. Get in there real, real tight on that, John. And what we're going to do is we're going to just stick this pin straight into his nose, and it actually pokes into his nose. Now, you can take your circle hook and you put through this rubber band, and now it's free, it. free floating. The other this, thing this that's cool right about here? it, so yeah. This, thing, this is the Jerry Rig. The, right. And it, that's the name of the product, the Jerry, Jerry rig. rig. Now, look at this. Here's a different rig. If you're fishing with a pin fish or you're fishing like with a, uh, a thread fin offshore, you want to hook the fish in the back, you can do the same thing. Now, let me show you how simple so this applies. All right. All you're going to do is you're going to take this and stick it right here, push down and pull up. And it sticks right in them. Now, all you got to do is take your hook and go through the rubber band that's right there. That's pretty clever. It's that quick. That's a beautiful That's pretty thing. Clever. And his hookup ratio on yellowfin tunas this summer over in the Bahamas, he said it was, it was just stupid. Yeah. Uh, and again, the website is livebaitclip.com. Livebaitclip.com. I'm going to say it again because they're still talking. Livebaitclip.com. <laughs> sorry, teacher. What I'm else sorry. you got? Sorry. That's it. We're That's done. It. We're done. We're Great. Done. For info on all the products you see in the lodge tonight, go to sunsportstv.com. Click on Chevy him. Florida Fishing Report. You can watch this segment, the Chevy Tip, and the Deep End online right up until next week's live Those show.